Hello everyone. This is lead code problem number one hundred fifty. Evaluate reverse Polish notation. Evaluate the value of an arithmetic expression in reverse Polish notation. Valid operators are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Each operand may be an integer or another expression. Note that division between two integers should truncate towards zero. It is guaranteed that the given RPN expression is always valid. That means the expression would always evaluate to a result, and there will not be any division by zero operation. Let's take a look at some examples. Given two, one plus three and star. Two plus one equals three. Then three multiplied by three equals nine. Given four, thirteen, five slash and plus, thirteen divided by five, ignore the remainder equals two. Then four plus two equals six. The third example is more complicated. Start from the first operator plus, and the two numbers before, nine plus three equals twelve. Then calculate the new first operator star with two numbers before, twelve multiplied by minus eleven equals to minus one hundred thirty-two. Then calculate the new first operator slash with two numbers before, six divided by minus one hundred thirty-two. Here is the tricky part: Python has normal division and the floor division. For floor division, as the name described, zero point two eight five seven blah 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 will be rounded down to zero. Two point seven will be rounded down to two. Minus one point six 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 blah 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 will be rounded down to minus two. When the number is negative. Floor division result doesn't truncate towards zero as the problem required. If you are interested in why Python's integer division floors, there's a blog from the Python creator explained it. The link is in the description box below. Okay, go back to the problem. Here's the Python building function rounds the number towards zero. For positive number, it is like a floor. For negative number, it is like a cell. This is what we need to solve this problem. Six divided by minus one hundred thirty-two equals zero. Then calculate ten multiplied by zero equals zero. Then calculate zero plus seventeen equals seventeen. Then seventeen plus five equals twenty-two. That is the final result. This is a typical stack problem. Start from creating a stack list. Go through the given tokens. If the token is a number, save it to the stack. Else, pop the last two number from the stack. Calculate the operations based on the operators. Save back the result to the stack. Then the only number left in the stack is the final result. Time complexity is O n. Space complexity is also O n. Thank you for watching.